We are going to be eating like the queen, the iconic, my bestie. She sends me Yiddy every month, so technically we're besties. Lizzo. I feel like if you look on the internet, there are so many mixed opinions about Lizzo. Some people say that, oh, she's promoting obesity. Just for like simply existing and being hot. I get told that I'm promoting obesity whenever I do like what I eat in a day. I'll literally go to the gym and people will say, you're promoting obesity. But anyways, yeah, there's the side of the internet that like hates Lizzo, thinks she's a terrible person and doing terrible things in the world. And then obviously the good side of the internet loves Lizzo, thinks she's an icon, because she is. I genuinely feel like if you don't like Lizzo, that's just a sign that you're probably like, not a good person. I'm sorry, that's like a personality flaw. Like how can you not like Lizzo? I feel like all she promotes is being happy with yourself no matter how you look. Even if you're skinny, like she will still tell you like own that sh be confident, be yourself. I'm pretty sure if she was promoting being fat, like she would only sell clothes for fat people. Her message is for all people. Anyway, sorry for the rant. But if you are on TikTok, you have probably seen a video from Lizzo because she's like a legit TikToker. Before I even was like a huge fan of Lizzo, I followed her on TikTok and that is how I fell in love with Lizzo. Obviously I liked her before, but I never really was like, oh my gosh, I love her so much. But when I saw her TikTok and her personality and what kind of person she is, immediate follow. And the reason I I mentioned her TikTok is because she does post a lot of food content and if you're not aware she is a vegan so yes I will be trying my best to eat vegan today and all of the food in this video is based on a TikTok that she posted a while back of everything that she eats in a day. This morning I obviously had to go to the store because I am not a vegan I had to buy all the vegan foods that she eats at least the majority of the things that I got are vegan some of it may just be vegetarian so yeah let me go ahead and show you everything I got at the grocery store. breakfast I had yogurt. I had to give the yogurt a quick little sniff test. I don't know why but one of them was like literal water. I was gonna mix them but instead I just spooned in a little bit of the watery one. I don't know it was looking a little questionable. I think for the occasion we should play some Lizzo music. Okay this is my jam right here. Why men great till they gotta be great. I just took a DNA test. Yeah. Boy, problems, that's the human in me. Down, now you're holding me back. Down, I'm me not calling you back. Yeah, I apologize that you guys had to witness that. Anyways, I had to cut up my fruit, and of course, I had to sneak a little bite. I think Lizzo would approve. I tried to make mine cute and presentable like hers, but it was just not working. But it's okay, mine may not be on Lizzo's level, but she's still a cute little fruit and yogurt bowl. You can't tell me that you wouldn't save this to your Pinterest. Like, the Pinterest girlies would go crazy. Breakfast is served. I'm gonna be honest, Lizzo. This isn't very much. Um, for me, I like to have hot breakfasts like eggs and bacon. But honestly, that's everything that Lizzo can't have. I feel like Lizzo, you could have added a little granola in there, had a little crunch, I don't know. But let's try it out. Let's see how she's tasting. Mm. After trying this, I will say dairy-free yogurt is so much better than like Greek yogurt, dairy yogurt. It's just, it tastes a lot better. As I mentioned, yeah, it probably would have been better with some granola or something. That's good. I thought I didn't like yogurt though. Dairy-free yogurt has put me onto yogurt because this is actually pretty decent. I already know the trolls won't like this, but in my opinion, this is like a snack. It's just not a lot of food. Maybe she's just a light breakfast type of person. Also, I got this fruit from Walmart, so hers is probably a lot better quality quality than mine. Walmart fruit is kind of questionable. But while I was cooking, I was listening to Lizzo music. And I will say 10 out of 10, highly recommend. It will get you in the mood, get you dancing. Only for Lizzo. Oh. Thankfully it is lunchtime because I am starting to get really hungry. I think that that breakfast was just not really filling enough. It probably wasn't very calorically dense. Foods that were in it, I don't think that there was much protein. You know, like the, the yogurt wasn't like a protein yogurt. I feel like there wasn't really anything to hold you over. Like there wasn't that granola. There wasn't really anything in it. So I'm about to start making lunch, but thankfully she has a pretty large lunch. I'm used to eating meat. So, I mean, the lunch looks large, but also there's no meat in it. So I guess we'll just see how I'm feeling after I eat. But yeah, I would personally say that breakfast was just not my favorite. Sorry, Lizzo, still love you, girl. Also, if you wanna hook up, my number is Hit me up, please.
So the first part of Lizzo's lunch is a smoothie. Lizzo, babes, I'm gonna need a little bit more substance than just fruit. I'm not feeling the fruit anymore. But let's make that smoothie and I'll show you guys what else she has. Okay, clearly I am slacking on the smoothie making skills. I thought that I had a protein drink in the fridge that I was gonna mix with some fruit, but it turns out I don't have a protein drink. So I kind of had to try to make a smoothie from scratch, which I don't know how to do, clearly. It's very sour. <sighs> You'd think because it's fruit, it'd smell good, but like it doesn't even smell good. Very sour. I think where I went wrong is I did a pack of like acai mixed with another pack that has spinach, berries, other kind of stuff. And then for the juice, I did pineapple juice. And typically with a smoothie, the taste of the spinach is like not in there, but I can like clearly taste the spinach. I don't think I like this at all. Plus I like want real food, but thankfully we are about to get started with real lunch. That's not a smoothie. It's like I keep drinking it thinking that I'm gonna like it, but like I don't. The spinach is getting like clogged up in the straw. Yeah, no. Let's make some real food. As I mentioned, I don't think everything was going to be vegan. These veggie bacon strips are actually just vegetarian. They're not vegan, but it'll work. It smells like dog treats. The bacon also looked like dog treats, but I'm just gonna trust the process. I was watching a TikTok of Lizzo's where she says that she adds maple syrup to the bacon to give it that mapley taste and taste more like real bacon, but that may actually be where I went wrong because... Oh no, guys, I kinda was not paying attention and I think I burnt it, oh no. Or maybe it's the syrup, I don't know. I was trying to look for the video on how Lizzo cooks her bacon. I definitely burnt that bacon, um, I tasted it and it was just tasted like burntness. Uh, it's good. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to remake it this time and I'm not gonna add the syrup because I'm pretty sure that's where I went wrong. Also, I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, I'm gonna redo it. vegan blta that i made that was fire with a strawberry salad okay let's get straight into it because i am so freaking hungry like my stomach is about to eat itself i'm pretty sure i said that before i'm dramatic sometimes i don't know how i'm gonna feel about fruit on like a salad i like my salads to be savory and not sweet i'm like more of a vegetable over fruit type of girl so this is a way different diet than i'm used to of course she had to find another way to sneak in some fruits like this girl's even putting fruit on top of salad what's next a fruit sandwich i mean technically the avocado and tomato are fruit anyways okay i'm getting sidetracked mm. Mm -mm. i don't like that it tastes like just strawberry that's all i really taste like fruit and that's not what i want when i eat a salad let's try the sandwich because i actually have high hopes for the sandwich because i am so hungry like i need something that's not going to taste like freaking fruit okay Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on now. Cause why does that taste like bacon? Like legit bacon. I mean by itself it probably wouldn't cause it's missing that like greasy factor. But like the smokiness, the taste is like bacon. Okay queen, you may be onto something with this. This right here, I can stand behind. Like if you gave me this and you told me like I made you a BLT, I wouldn't even be like, this is not bacon. It legit tastes like bacon. So I probably wouldn't even know. But the salad, it just doesn't mesh well with the sandwich. The salad tastes like dessert. But I'm gonna need me another one of these sandwiches cause this is actually good. That bacon, you wouldn't expect it to be this good by looking at it, but you just gotta trust. I wanted to taste the bacon by itself. I taste that smoky flavor they add in to make it taste like bacon, but by itself, mostly because of the texture, kind of reminds me of, you know, whenever you go to a Chinese restaurant, <coughs> 
excuse me but you know they have like the wontons that you put on the soup that's the kind of texture and like that's what this reminds me of but yeah, it's not very good by itself, but it's good in a recipe. I decided to check and see if the vegan bacon was Stormy approved. And drum roll, please. She actually ate it and she even started to look around to see if there was any more. And for dinner, I had spaghetti squash, um, chicken parmesan, and then a little noodles that I split me and uh, someone else. So this is my first time ever making spaghetti squash. It is a little soggy with the tomato sauce added. Then we obviously have noodles. I use protein noodles. And then we have this vegan chicken patty with tomato sauce and cheese. And the cheese would not melt. Honestly, I can see why people use spaghetti squash to replace spaghetti. I mean, obviously it doesn't taste like real noodles. But it is pretty good, especially if you want to get in vegetables. The only downside, it is kind of soggy. And then for the spaghetti noodles, they were pretty good. Obviously, it tastes like spaghetti noodles. And then the meatless chicken. It was pretty good if you don't eat meat. I mean, it's obviously not exactly like chicken, but it's not bad. I'm trying to give you like a little bit of pasta with a little bit of vegan chicken. It's not too bad for like vegan chicken, right? Or vegetarian. I mean, it kind of tastes similar to chicken, right? No, no. You really spit it out. The meat too like soggy for my liking. Well, that's because I put tomato sauce on it. I'm definitely not gonna eat all this though. I don't know why I did two chicken patties. I'm full already. This is where we're ending off this meal. Okay, so apparently Lizzo likes to end her night with some ice cream. She had a peanut butter crunch ice cream, but I could not find any dairy-free peanut butter ice cream. So I just got this coconut milk cookie dough ice cream. Kevin's like sitting right in front of me, watching me, it's kind of weird. I'm producer. I'm really not even like hungry. So I'm just gonna have like a bite or two. I'm using my same fork that I ate food with. I mean, it all goes to the same place, right? Yeah, you poop. I don't want to hear about poop while I'm eating. Yeah, yeah, there's chocolate in there too. <laughs> it's made with coconut milk. Nice. Mm, it's kind of too sweet for me though. It sticks out too. <laughs> Dude, it's a taste and I don't like it for real. It's not artificially I sweetened. I see what you're saying. It does have like a weird taste, but I eat dairy-free ice cream all the time. Maybe it's just this brand. Anyways, I'm gonna call it a night because I am full. Good night, y'all. Good night. We're gonna go to sleep. Really tired. You have anything to say to Lizzo if she's watching this? Lizzo. <laughs> uh, Lizzo, I love you. I don't know how you do it. That shit was nasty. Hers probably tastes better. She probably knows how to cook a lot better than me oh, if so she's Lizzo, cooking it. Sponsor us. Send us your recipes or send us your food. Goodbye. Love you guys. guys so it is the next day today is just one of those days where i don't even feel like leaving my bed i got up i did some editing but as you can tell i still have all my pajamas from yesterday and it's like 2 p.m so i literally had to watch other people's youtube videos just to motivate me to get out of bed to film this outro but i just wanted to give my final thoughts on everything i ate yesterday i would like to mention that this what i eat in a day that was made by lizzo was actually one from 2020 so her diet could have completely changed by now. Obviously, no one eats the same thing every day, but I thought I'd go directly from the video. I will say after lunch, I started to get really hungry because all I had was that sandwich and the yogurt that I had for breakfast. So I did end up eating some beef jerky because I just couldn't bear to eat any more vegan food. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a failure, I know. I just wanted to be open and honest with you guys. I did end up getting hungry and Lizzo probably doesn't eat like this every day but um this particular day i just feel like the food wasn't very dense early on so that's why i was so hungry when the middle of the day came around but then when dinner came around i guess because i had snacked on some jerky i also had a little bit of a subway sandwich i won't tell if you don't by the time dinner came i ate some of my dinner but um it was a really large portion that i made so i didn't finish it completely but when i woke up i kind of felt like i think the foods that i ate were just so like high in carbs and I'm not really used to it. Typically I eat more meat than I do carbs and I also have PCOS so that could have something to do with why carbs make me so drowsy because I know some people that have PCOS say that they struggle with the same things but yeah I did feel pretty sick this morning. I wouldn't eat like this on a daily basis but the same things that works for someone else may not work for you. Overall I think Lizzo has a pretty balanced diet. I'm not a dietitian or anything like that so I'm not even going to try 
to pretend that I understand the nutrients that goes into every little thing. And yeah, hopefully I start feeling a little better. I don't know. I'm just having one of those bad mental health days where I don't want to do anything. But thank you guys so much for watching my channel, supporting me. I love you guys. I love you, Lizzo. I don't think you're watching this, but if you are, I love you. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.